hello students hello today we are going to discuss chapter number 1 from paper number 2 number system this topic is very easy and can get the maximum marks in the board examination in this topic we are going to discuss different types of number systems and conversion from one number system to another number system so what is meant by radix how the number systems are defined all the points are covered in this topic in this topic we are going to discuss different number systems like decimal binary octal hexadecimal and decimal to binary binary to decimal binary to octal octal to binary decimal to octal hexadecimal vice versa different methods are discussed in this topic so first we will see what are the different number systems generally we use generally any number system is an ordered set of symbols for example 0 1 2 3 these are the symbols used in one of the number systems also known as digits these digits can be used for arithmetic operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division by predefined rules and depending on the symbols the number system is defined the collection of these digits make a number which has generally two parts means for example 1 2 3 4 these are the symbols and each and every number system has two part one of the part is called as a integer part and another part is called as fraction part so one more point is there that is called as a radix point means for example in decimal number system number is like suppose 2 1 3 that is your integer part this is your radix point of radix point we will call it as a decimal point and 4 2 this is called as a fraction part so this is about the number system means number any number system has two part one is a integer and another is fraction and this is separated by a radix point for example nb is the number means the number n is the number and b is the radix this b is the radix of this means if the number is base 10 then we can write 12 the base will be 10 b means base of the number system is it is of octal number then suppose 63 is the number and the base will be the 8 so b is the weight for example decimal octal octal has number 8 we will discuss later on what is octal number what is decimal number what is binary number so depending on this so this will be the integer part of the number from year to year this is the integer part this is the fraction part and this will be the radix point so this will be the number system so one more point is there so the digit in a number are placed side by side and each position in the number is assigned a weight means for example any number system there are some symbols for example there is a symbol 2 one more symbol is 2 one more symbol is 2 then this will be the fraction point then again there will be the symbol 2 there will be symbol 2 no doubt the symbol is same but depending on the position of these numbers the weight will be defined if this is of the decimal number system then the weight of this will be 10 raised to 0 the weight of this 2 will be 10 raised to 1 the weight of this will be 10 raised to 2 weight of this will be 10 raised to minus 1 weight of this will be 10 raised to minus 2 etc so depending on the position of the bit or digit the weight will be defined and the weights are assigned so this is the summary which indicates different number system first number system is called as a binary number system by means 2 in which 
there are two symbols are used zero and one therefore this radix is two or base is two therefore it is called the base two number system for example one zero one 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 point one one so this will be the base two number system so radix will be two only two symbols are used hence it is called as a binary number system and this fraction point is called as a binary point that is called as a binary point one more number system is called as a octal number system octa means 8 and therefore there are eight symbols used 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so these are the eight symbols used in this number system so the weight will be 8 raised to 0 8 raised to 1 8 raised to 2 And for example, three, five, six, seven, two, five, and this will be the eight. Means three, five, six, seven point twenty-five. So this will be the base eight number system. So weight of this will be eight raised to zero, eight raised to one, eight raised to two, eight raised to three, eight raised to minus one, eight raised to minus two, etc. Because this is the base eight number system. one more number system is called as the decimal number system which is a well known number system we are going maximally so this has base 10 because 10 symbols are used to represent the number system 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 these are the symbol therefore the weight will be 10 to 0 10 to 1 10 to 2 etc and for example the number will be like this 2 9 7 4 5 7 one more number system is present that is called as a hexadecimal number system hexa means 16 so it is constructed using 16 symbols 0 to 9 these are the 10 symbols and after that a b c d e f these are the 6 symbols means these are the 10 symbols these are the 6 symbols so total numbers will be 16 symbols are used to represent this number system so the weight will be assigned like 16 raised to 0 16 raised to 1 because this will be the radix 2 radix 16 or base 16 number system for example 3 f a 9.56 56 and this will be the 6 hexadecimal number system so weight of this will be 16 raised to 0 16 raised to 1 16 raised to 2 16 raised to 3 16 raised to minus 1 16 raised to minus 2 etc suppose this is the number system Or number two eight seven six and I define here this is a octal number system. So this is not a valid octal number because symbol eight is not present in the octal number system. So octal number system only up to zero to seven. This will be not valid number two eight seven six. This is a not valid octal number because this symbol eight is not used. Are not present in the octal number system. So this is about the different number system. The radix of the number system defines number of symbols used for the number system. And depending on the radix, depending on the position, the bit weight is defined or digit weight is defined. So octal number system, eight symbols are used, and weight will be eight raised to zero, eight raised to minus one, etc. For the decimal number system, ten symbols are used, like ten raised to zero, ten raised to one, ten raised to two, etc. And for hexadecimal number system, sixteen symbols are used, and weights are assigned like sixteen raised to zero, sixteen raised to one, sixteen raised to two in this direction, and in this direction, sixteen raised to minus one, sixteen raised to minus two, etc. So this is just an overview about the different number systems. So now we will see how the on um, one of the number system or one of the base. is correct converted into the another base so first we will see what are the different number system in any number system the leftmost bit is known as most significant bit most significant means means suppose there is a number suppose we will consider as 1011 that is our binary number so this has the highest weight depending on the position so this is the weight of 2 raised to 0 This is the weight of two raised to one. It has the weight two raised to two. And this is the weight of two raised to three. So this is the highest weight, and that is called as the most significant bit. So leftmost number is called as the most significant bit, and the last number of the rightmost number is called as the least significant bit because its weight is very very low. 
so up to now we discuss that any in any number system left most number is called as most significant bit and right most number is indicated as least significant bit so any number of zeros can be added to the left of the number without changing the value of the number means suppose we write the number like this 5 5 and one more zero is placed before that number so it will not change the value of the number but if we place the zero after this it will change the value so it will become 55 and it will become 550 so if we add the zero here there will be no change in the value of the number if we add the number to the left so in case of the binary number system group of four bits is known as nibble group of four bits means for example 1 0 1 0 this is a group of four single bit one second bit this will be the third bit and this will be the fourth bit the group of this four is called as a nibble and group of four a uh, group of eight bits means for example 111011010 so this will be the this will be indicate four bits and this will suppose indicate four bit so 1101011101 1101. these are the four bits these are the four bits it is called as a byte means group of eight bits is called as byte and four bit called as nibble in case of the binary number system so up to now we discuss that what is been by radix radix is in the the thing but number of symbols used in the number system we now already discuss how many number systems are present binary number system octal number system hexadecimal number system and decimal number system so one should convert one of the number system into another number system means one base into another base now we will discuss how to convert the binary number into its equivalent in decimal number for conversion of this the equivalent binary number into the equivalent decimal number we have to we have to binary number equal to the sum of the binary number digits multiplied by their weights means for example this is one of the example 1101 that is your binary number and we have to convert it into the decimal number so how one can convert this we will see now so for this first write the binary number like 1101 this is your given binary number after that write its weight weight of this number weight of this number will be 2 raised to 0 weight of this will be 2 raised to 1 weight of this will be 2 raised to 2 weight of this will be 2 raised to 3 so accordingly we have to write the weights for the each digit after that cross weight under the zeros means cross out the zero bit for example like this this will be the 1 means 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8 1 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4. 0 0 means 2 raised to 1. That will be 2. We have to cross it. And this will be the 2 raised to 0 means 1. 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1. 2 raised to 1 is equal to this will be the 0. So this will be the 0. This will become 0 because if we note down like this, 1 into 2 raised to 3 plus 1 into 2 raised to 2 plus 0 into 2 raised to 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to 0 so we have to cross out this this will become 0 so the what will be the result the result will be 2 raised to 3 means 8 2 raised to 2 means 4 and 2 raised to 0 is 1 and now we have to add this after addition we will get the 13 and that will be the equivalent digital number so this 1 into 2 raised to 0 that is 
1 into 2 raised to 0 is called as a 1. So this will be the cross out. So 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4 and 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8. So if we add this, we will get equivalent decimal number. In this way, we can convert any binary number into its equivalent manner. Note down the steps. Write binary number first. This will be the binary number. Now write its weight. Note down the weight. Cross the weights under 0. This will be the 0 that we have to cross out. And now add these weights. And now we have to add this weight. So this will be the conversion of binary number into its equivalent decimal number. So therefore 11012 is equal to 13 decimal. So if again we will take one more example. Suppose this is one of the binary number 101011. So first note down the binary number 101011 that is our binary number. After that we have to add the weights of this one. So what will be the weight first? The weight of this will be 1, 1 into 2 raised to 1. This 0, 0 into 2 raised to 0. The fraction point is there. So 1 into 2 raised to minus 1. 0 into 2 raised to minus 2. 1 into 2 raised to minus 3. And 1 into 2 raised to minus 4 accordingly. So after that we will get 2, 0, 0.5 means 2. 1 upon 2 is nothing but 0.5. So we have to cross out the 0 bit. This will be the cross out. This will be the cross out. So 1 into 2 raised to minus 3 means 1 upon 2 raised to 3. That will be the 1 to 5, 0 0.125. And 1 into 2 raised to 4 means 1 upon 16. That is 0 0.0625. So after addition, we will get this number and that number is 2.6875 decimal so in this way we can convert one of the decimal a binary number into its equivalent decimal number now one more example we will see for the practice therefore this will be the result 101 1011 binary is equal to 2.6875 that is our decimal number <laughs> so take down one example for the assignment convert the 11.1 one one that is your equivalent binary number and we have to convert it into decimal number. So how one can convert? So note down the number 11.1. One, so what will be the weight of this? This will be 1 into 2 raised to 0 plus 1 into 2 raised to minus 1. And so plus the weight of this will be 1 into 2 raised to 1. 2 raised to 0 is nothing but 2 raised to 0 is nothing but 1 plus 2 raised to minus 1 means 1 upon 2 is equal to 0 0.5 and 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2. So if we add these numbers we will get 3.5. So that will be the result means for example 1 1.1 binary is equal to 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1 plus 2 raised to 2 plus 0 0.5 is equal to 3.5 that is your decimal number. So after that we will see how the decimal number is converted into its equivalent binary number. So this method is also called as double double method. In the examination there may be the question explain the double double method for the conversion of decimal number into its equivalent binary number. Now we will see how the decimal number converted into its equivalent binary number. There are two parts for any number one is called as an integer and another part is called as a fraction. 
for the integer part of the decimal number we successively divide it by 2 and keep the track of reminders means for example there is a number 13 and for that number 13 we have to successively divide it by 2 means first divide by divide 13 by 2 Two six za twelve, and what will be the remainder? Remainder will be one. So again, divide this six by two. Two three za six. Remainder will be zero. So in this way, if we successively divide, lastly there will be the one and say two raised to. So suppose we have to divide one by two, so it is not possible. So two raised to zero. And that will be the one. This will be transferred here directly, and the number is note down in the upward direction. So this will be the LSB, and this will be the MSB. So that is the conversion for this one, decimal to binary number. So therefore, decimal thirteen is equal to one one zero one. So number is written in upward direction. One one zero one. So that will be the MSB and LSB. So this will be the wrong. That will be the most significant bit, and this will be the least significant bit. MSB means most significant bit, and this LSB means least significant bit. This is the wrong one. So again. in this final division 2 does not divide into therefore the quotient is zero and with the remainder of one this one this will be the quotient will be zero and this one will be remainder so that will be for the final whenever you arrive at the quotient zero means if the quotient will be arrived zero with the remainder of 1 with the remainder of 1 the conversion will be finished the conversion is finished and that will be the final result for this one and remainders are read in upward direction that will provide a equivalent binary number so one more there for the fraction part suppose this is the fraction part 0.65625 decimal and we have to convert it into the binary number then how to solve this we have to successively multiply the fraction part by 2 means this will be the fraction 65625 we have to multiply it by 2 and the number will be result will be 1.31250 and this track the integer the integer is note down here integer will be the here so for the next step again multiply the fraction part of this this fraction part we have to multiply only fraction part we have to multiply by 2 and the result will be 62500 and this integer will be 0 keep the track of integer again the next will be again multiplication by 2 for the fraction part and we have to multiply this fraction part only by 2 and we will get 1.2500 and that will be integer and this will be note down here and we have to repeat the process we have to repeat the process for the multiple times and so again this fraction is multiplied by 2 we will get 0.5 again this 0.5 is multiplied by 1 so the result will be this will be the integer part one here and 0.000 further if you want to multiply it the answer will be zeros because the fraction part is 0.0000 into 2 that will be zero and the zero will be repeated again and again so we have to stop here so the numbers are not down in downward direction so final result will be 0.10101 that is your equivalent binary number for the fraction point 65625 so this will be the answer 10101 and the number is not down in downward direction so in this way 
we have to convert any decimal number into its equivalent binary number so numbers are not down in downward direction so take down the exercise on this point what is the meaning of radix what is the base of decimal binary and hexadecimal numbers convert the following decimal number into its equivalent binary convert the binary into its equivalent decimal etc and now one more question may be there explain the double double method with suitable example thank you for the next session we will discuss how to convert other base means octal to binary binary to octal decimal to octal decimal to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to decimal so up to now we will discuss this part thank you